everyone, this is Kate O'Connor reporting for AvWeb from AirVenture 2022. I'm over at Redbird where they're demonstrating a mixed reality simulator that they're developing that combines virtual reality technology with a standard flight simulator. Here's Josh Harnagel to tell us more. Hi, uh, my name is Josh Harnagel and we're here at the Redbird booth at Oshkosh and we're looking at our new mixed reality proof of concept simulator. It's based off of our, a TD desktop simulator that is FAA approved. We've added um, a mixed reality component to it to provide visual, exterior visuals. So what we're doing is we're actually taking video of the cockpit and overlaying um, that over a virtual world. So you're able to look 360 degrees, see the images, or see the virtual world, uh, while also being able to see the actual knobs, buttons, switches, throttles, and your hands manipulating the controls. So this is um, just a proof of concept to sort of see where the technology is, um, get, we wanted to bring it out to the public, have people fly it, um, get their feedback on it, and then we're gonna go back and talk to some of our potential um, launch customers for a product like this and see really what they need and what, what we need to do um, from a hardware perspective and a software perspective. So the main customers that have expressed interest uh, so far to us are usually in, in the education space, the, the youth outreach space. There are a lot of um, programs that are trying to get kids involved in aviation and um, VR mixed reality really fits well in that, um, in that sort of use case. Yeah, so we've been looking at um, VR and especially mixed reality for probably the last five years. Um, it's just now starting to get to the point where we think there may be um, a functional product relatively soon. Um, the, the current generation of really high-end headsets are able to do it. They're very expensive um, and there's still a little bit of a little bit of, of a gap in what we'd like to see but we think here in the next few um, next six months next year there's going to be some new technology that comes out that'll really enable it to be a, a valuable training tool.